15. Um, so I think there, I don't know where, what the intention was that we'd get 15 feet. We discovered that when they came in for their first plot plan reviews because our department reviews those plans to make sure they're consistent with the PUD. So we had the applicant come in and it turns out that, you know, when they did the footprints, they didn't have a final um, floor plan for the homes. Now that they do, uh, they're able to refine that. And typically they're going to achieve at least 12 feet between the units. Uh, but I, I just wanted to make sure that we had some record that we're acknowledging that change. So we have no objection with it. We're comfortable with the adjustment. It's a minor modification. Um, and we just wanted to make sure we had something to reflect that in the file. So if, so they could have one house five feet from the property line and another from seven feet from the property they line? They could. But typically, if you look at some of the, the floor plans, depending on which unit is where, um, what, like one, they had seven and a half on one side. Um, one, seven and a half, seven and a half. So you're going to probably get up to 14 in some cases. Uh, just you're not going to get the 15. Depending on which model they use, and all these lots aren't <coughs> uniform. So there's a little bit of variation between the lots. Okay. But we're okay with a minimum of five feet then? Yes. Right. And we, yeah, <coughs> absolutely. Any questions? Mr. Chairman? Mr. Wozniak. I move to approve the modified side yard building setbacks for Enclave Village, reducing the spacing between units from 15 feet to 12 feet. Support. Okay. Moved by Wozniak, support by Opone. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none. Uh, Commissioner Wozniak? Yes. Commissioner Opone? Yes. Commissioner Dalu? Yes. Commissioner DeSico? Yes. Commissioner Moore? Yes. And the Chair votes yes. Uh, next item, site plan number 17-53, uh, we're going to get Tim Hortons. <coughs> Till Credit Union at 23 in Van Dyke. If I have the petitioner. Your name and address for the record, please. I'm sorry? Your name and address. Oh, I'm Joseph Beglica from uh, Gateway Engineering, 8155 Ansbury. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm not sure how familiar with this project, but uh, this is the old uh, well, it's your job credit. to make us real familiar because we got to vote. So, I'm sorry. I said you got it's your job to make us real familiar. No, no, no. I understand. Because we got to vote. But so. basically, this is the old uh, uh, Credit One Bank located on Van Dyke, uh, in front of the Kmart shopping center. Uh, the, per the 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 property was purchased by Tim Horton by Ravinder Sani, who's my my client. And there's minor modifications that we're doing to the building itself and to the site plan. Uh, the building itself is actually, we're going to actually brick, uh, you know, there's a set of plans that you guys have, but we're going to actually change the elevations to match an existing Tim Horton, you know, go with their design standards. Uh, there's, uh, right now, there is an existing uh, drive-through that the bank had. It kind of looks like a wing of an airplane. Uh, we're going to be removing that, that part of the building because it doesn't match the Tim Horton. And, and pretty much we're going to update the lighting in the site. We're going to connect uh, the sanitary sewer because right now it's on a septic field. So we're going to connect it to the, to the city sanitary. And uh, uh, very minor modifications. The inside is going to be all redone. Uh, you know, to match uh, the existing Tim Horton. And the outside is going to look, I don't know if you, what you have in front of you, but it's going to look like, uh, sorry, I, I have sure. So when I spoke to Glenn, uh, although that has an, ex the, the site already has an existing drive through uh, that belongs to the bank, uh, but we felt that the modifications that we were doing to the building were substantial that we needed to come in front of the, the Planning Commission. So we want you to put approval. this on the easel. Maybe these guys can shoot it and we can put it up. Yeah. All right. Could you grab I it? I actually emailed everything. I thought you were yeah, we, we have it. We just don't have the – we have what you gave us originally. Okay. Just put it on the easel. If you can. <clears throat> I apologize. I was under the impression that we would show this on the – Just Yeah, just put the elevations, the, the – yeah. Just set it down on right where the, is it? Doesn't go up guys. Fit. Hmm. 
No. no. I'll hold it. So right now, that's a pre, it's a, it's a concrete structure. And, you know, we're going to do a, a skin veneer around it, you know, to make it look like it's going to have stone. It's going to have, you know, pretty much same type of characteristics of the Tim Hortons in Shelby Township, you know, with the stone, the brick. It's going to have some siding. Um, the interiors are going to be redone. Uh, again, we're just, you know, pretty much, you know, taking everything down and turning it into a restaurant. It's going to have... Uh, uh, this site plan, you know, eventually the, the, the site is big enough that eventually they can come back if they want to do an addition to it. Uh, but at this point in time, we're just keeping the same exact footprint and we're just modifying to fit a Tim Horton. Great. Mr. Wynn, your thoughts? Just a couple of minor comments. Um, uh, kind of two and three have all been have been addressed with some revisions. The only um, we had there's some parallel parking spaces they're showing on the south side of the building. We suggest those be eliminated. If they need some other parking, parallel parking is not usually a very efficient way to use it. So we're just suggesting don't add the parallel parking unless you need it in the future at some point in time. Uh, there's some minor comments from the engineer. Uh, these are more housekeeping items. Um, Mr. Vagrico is very accomplished. He knows how to work this process, and I. This is a really good plan, a really good reuse. Okay. No, no. The the the, the building seems pretty close to Van Dyke, like closer than right. kind of where the building line has sort of developed mm -hmm. afterwards. No concerns with nope the drive through. No, nope. this actually Van Dyke from this works really well. Okay. Rarely do you get a site that's converted that requires less. There's, there's really good alignment between what they want to do and the zoning requirements. Yeah. It'll be nice that it's not a cookie cutter Tim Hortons, you know. Oh, I think it'll the be design, but it'll look a little it, different. I think it'll give a little more life to the street than the credit union did. Yeah, yeah for sure. Really good application. Thank you. Any questions for either the petitioner or the planner from the board? Just one, Mr. Wozniak. On the parking, Joe, the um, you've got 31 spaces you're putting in there, but you're only required to have 18. Mr. Wynn and I were just discussing that. Uh, yeah, we, we, I think we, since, since it's common, we eliminated the parallel parking. We didn't need them to start with. Yeah. It's just that we had that extra space, you know, because they had that, it's like a bottleneck there because it kind of had that long uh, drive-through, had several, you know, drive-throughs for the bank. Right. Uh, so, uh, you know, that actually came originally from Tim Horton when they reviewed our site. They said, you know, you can put some parking here. So we, we kind of did that. Uh, but ever since the common, we removed those. Good. And, you know, we don't really need them. And I don't think anybody's going to be parking there because the entrance is going to be on the opposite side anyways. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other questions? Some of it, just a comment, too. The way you're sitting right now with the new development that we were talking, the empty building in the back, I think this will help improving that a little bit. And it seems like even their entrance to this particular Tim Horton, even though it's close to the road, you enter through the back where you're going like through Kmart, which is not going to affect a whole lot for the parking. So. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll uh, entertain a motion. Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, Commissioner Moore. I move to approve site plan for Tim Horton. Horton's restaurant subject to the submission of a revised plan addressing all department comments. Support. Moore supported by Dalu. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none. Commissioner Moore? Yes. Commissioner Dalu? Yes. Commissioner DeSico? Yes. Commissioner Pone? Yes. Commissioner Wozniak? Yes. And Chair votes yes. Good luck. Thank you. Merry Good Christmas. Luck. Thank you. Okay, next item is site plan number 17 23, the shops at Stony Creek regarding a. Uh, LA Fitness. <coughs> sure, yes. 
Good evening. My name is Mark Drain. I'm with Rogboy Architects. My address is 32500 Telegraph Road, Suite 250, Bingham Farms, Michigan. And I'm the architect for the shopping center. Um, I'm here representing the developer and LA Fitness. Um, this plan has been before you several times at different, several different phases. Um, in fact, some of this, some of most of this, all, all of the site is built. Lighting is in. We had this pristine pad sitting there waiting for our LA Fitness to come plop itself down, and LA Fitness went away for s several months, and they decided, you know what? I think we need a store in Shelby Township. So they came back, and I'm here to present the uh, elevations uh, to you. Um, I don't know what uh, what Glenn's told you. I don't know if there's a staff report at all. I haven't seen it, but uh, the, mm -hmm. the the answer is, is that I have a, a LA Fitness that's we believe is compatible to the shopping center, although it's a little bit different architecture. But colors, um, shape, form, massing, <coughs> I think it's a great fit for that end, end of the shopping center. Okay, Mr. Wynn. I would agree with that. Um, it, it is a little different architecturally, but because it's on the end. I think it actually is more distinctive, um, and and this isn't like a storefront where you divide it up, and make it look the same as the other ones. I think it, the f the form and the design matches what they're doing there, uh, so I, I really like the way it looks. I think it'll be a good addition to the township. Um, the um, there was a comment that our building department offered about extending the sidewalk to the western property. And I think that's already been done though on Twenty Six Mile Road. If it's not, okay, then it'll have to be extended. Um, the engineer had comments about they lost some parking spaces, and we, we recognize that they're still over parked based on our ordinance, and the spaces that were eliminated were behind the building, which weren't very functional to begin with. So um, everything about this, you know, this has been a really good project, well designed, equally well executed. So we support this, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Mr. Chairman. great. Any questions from the board for the, either the petitioner or the planner? Chairman, Mr. Paul, move to approve the revised site plan for the shops at Stony, subject to the submission of the revised plans addressing all department comments. Support. Okay. So moved by opponent. Support by Moore. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none. Commissioner Opponent. Yes. Commissioner Moore. Yes. Commissioner Wozniak. Yes. Commissioner Dalu. Yes. Commissioner Desico. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Good luck. Everybody's these back. I can stamp and sign these when we're done. Just the um, yeah. Why don't you give me all all your stuff back? Uh, next is uh, planning director's report. The only thing to report is we had um, 21 sign applications last month. Um, we're working on the annual report. We'll probably present that to you the second meeting of the month. We do have a meeting scheduled for January 8th. We probably have a couple, three agenda items already. The first is going to be um, a special, or the rezoning for uh, adopting the new zoning ordinance, which is that clear zoning format. You haven't seen it, but we'll have the consultant here doing a demo of it. It's a really, a, Doug has seen it. Mm -hmm. It's a real interactive zoning ordinance where everything's available online. Um, the, the actual printed documents, 300 and some pages, but you don't use it that way. You use it. Um, use it interactively on the website. So I didn't want to give you 300 pages, but we'll probably give you a flash drive with it on there so you can see what it looks like ahead of time. Uh, but we're working on our staff report, and I do want them to come in and demo it because it's, it's real impressive how this is going to work for us. So that'll be next, next month. That's it. All right. My motion came fast today. <laughs> you, you remember? And they should take your part. Board it all in favor? Aye. Aye. Pretty close. Pretty close.